Yeah, another big tech IPO, Alex. Another one, but it's only the second one of the year. Yeah. Uh, Zscaler listed uh, earlier this month. So uh, Dropbox is kind of setting the tone here for what to expect for tech listings in 2018. We've really needed more activity to clear this big private pipeline, and it seems like they're off to a good start. This bump, they bumped the terms uh, by 10% uh, during the course of the roadshow. Demand has been really good from investors. It's the only one of the last 10 uh, tech IPOs bigger than $500 million that have bumped. So it seems like things are going well, but we'll have to see when this price is after market today, how close to that $10 billion private valuation do they actually get. Increasing the target IPO price range is not really common there. That's right. That's right. And from everything I've heard, investors are excited, uh, basically looking at the financials of this company because its books look good. This is a free cash flow positive company. They shrunk losses to $112 million last year. That's shrunk by half. So in terms of uh, companies that are in the tech space, if you're making money and you still have $1.1 in revenue last year that's growing more than 30%, these are all really good signs. And you'll remember, this is the file sharing company that basically started the market for cloud storage for your documents, your photos. So they had that early mover advantage. But when I hear criticisms from investors, a lot of that is around competition. Google, Microsoft, Apple, they're all pushing into this file storage space and investors Investors want to know what can Dropbox do for them next. In the course of the roadshow, they've been pushing this idea of collaboration tools, things to work for your team, and they've also been really pushing the fact that they don't have a sales force, which is how they've been able to keep costs low. 90% of their paid users, of their 11 million paid users, actually sign up through a self-service platform. So these are the things that investors are kind of digesting right now as they're deciding what exactly this company is worth. Give us an idea of the feeling out there of investors. We saw Spotify hit the road as well, although it's a different kind of an IPO process. But are, is the appetite that once was there there, Alex? It definitely is. You haven't had a lot of new issuance in growth stocks. January was the biggest month in three and a half years for IPOs. None of those were from large tech companies. So when you are looking for something that is, has the potential to be the next big thing, this is one of the first few in the tech space that people are really looking at the growth and saying, look, this looks good. 500 million registered users, not all of them pay, but that's a big base to build off of. So definite demand here from the buy side, and uh, potentially this will continue to play into the dynamics for the pricing of this company.